All right, so this person asked me a question about the movie The Last Samurai. So he says, I just wondered what you felt about The Last Samurai movie. <clears throat> it's a movie I love for many reasons and would like to hear your views on it. Um, in my inexperienced opinion, I feel like it shows the spirit of the real martial arts or of real martial artists. What do you think? Also, it doesn't show the countries with imperialistic and dominating attitudes in a good light. What do you reckon? Alright, so... What I think about The Last Samurai. Um, I made... I think I talked about this movie in the past. I'll speak about it again. I think it's a great movie. You know, I think it really um, illustrates the difference in the cultures of like the truly Eastern way and then the Western way, you know, and that's kind of what I've been trying to um, educate people on is the beauties of the East. Um, I'm not against Japan, you know, I'm not against China. But there's just certain teachings that come from the East, no matter it be India, China, Japan, or wherever from the East, Thailand. Like, there's teachings that come from there that are very beautiful, and people need to, you know, people should benefit from it. Now, there's corruption in Japan, there's corruption in China. It's corruption all over the world. Um, but what that movie was illustrating, um, there is beauty to it. You know, so I support that movie. But it doesn't mean that everything that comes out of Japan is supported. Um, there is, you know, there's certain things that Japan has done in, in the past that is not beneficial for the world. But that movie and what it's trying to illustrate, um, I think is a positive thing. Basically in that movie, they're introducing, you know, to the public what meditation is, introducing to the public what, you know, um, you know, the beauties of, of that culture. You know, so Tom Cruise, is representing like America, Americans, you know, that arrogant, think they know it all, um, they don't take care of their, their physical health, and they just are really dependent, probably over dependent on technology, you know, to take care of everything. And then the samurai are like representing like like the spirit, they're representing like, like being, living, and enjoying life, you know, and enjoying the simplicity of life, and basically um, developing more, <coughs> like, real skill sets opposed to just being dependent on technology. Um, it's just. The movie's indicating and showing like how the world has changed a lot because of you know Western influence. You know, um, the Japanese would have their certain style of dress, and uh, America would come in and just take that away and make everybody dress like them. You know, America would come in. You know, Japanese would be using swords and training in the martial arts. The America comes in makes them stop all that and just start using guns. Um, Japanese may have a certain way of, you know, speaking, different language, different way of writing and reading. America comes in, stops all that, tells them to speak English. I mean, really, it's like, <clears throat> in a way, America's like, having a big influence over the world and molding everybody into what they want them to be. America believes, you know, Christianity is the way, so they're gonna 
go in there and convert everybody into Christianity. You know what I mean? Like, these people in the East may have, like, very um, healthy and tasty foods that they make. But then America could come in and just overtake all that and say, you know what, everybody eat McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, <clears throat> the movie is just showing, like, how our world is being over overtaken by you know, the values of America, you know, and the, these other countries that represent a different way, um, they're getting crushed and taken out, you know, and the movie is showing like how the samurai spirit is, is something that's beautiful, but, you know, when you have a dominating country like America come in, um, it's hard to keep that spirit alive. You know, it, and it basically that movie is almost like illustrating like the ending point of the martial arts as far as any sort of practicality is concerned. Um, then people just become soldiers, and then they get armed with with firearms, and um, the time and dedication required to develop into a martial artist or to, or to train your, your body to become a weapon or to learn how to use certain intricate weapons, it becomes impractical, unuseful. Like even shooting a bow and arrow is just unnecessary and unuseful when you have um, things such as semi-automatic firearms and machine guns and just this type of modern technology you know um, riding horses as a way from getting to point A to point B becomes unpractical when there's such a thing as a motor vehicle or a motorcycle um, the technology is overtaking the the artfulness of development in <clears throat> you know in things of the past you know so the world is the way it is and it really is not going to go back like the internet is here the cars are here the cell phones are here you know what I mean um, guns are here and because of that, um, the martial aspect, there's really not going to be um, any practicality in it, you know. It's all turns into an art. It's just like, you know, digital cameras are here. People do not need to draw pictures anymore. They just take pictures and that could happen a picture could be taken in a matter of seconds. Um, drawing a picture could take weeks or months. And you're still not going to be able to capture whatever you're trying to draw as accurately and as precisely as a digital camera. But the effort in writing or drawing is, is an art. Um, it takes longer, but is it is an art. Becoming a martial artist takes a lifetime. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication. But there's no practicality in it as far as like survival is concerned. Um, we live in a world full of firearms and guns. And basically, this movie is an example of the change of this world. Um, even um, technology such as the internet has put a lot of businesses out of business. Um, you notice businesses that used to be in existence such as like Blockbuster, you know, Hollywood Video, um, 
you know, they're not longer, they're no longer here anymore because the internet put them out of business. You know, people don't need to rent movies anymore. They just stream it online or they find free movies online. Um, the internet has changed the world in so many different ways. Um, there used to be a lot more letters that were sent um, with the post office. But now they have to lay off a lot of these workers because people are just emailing each other. They're not sending letters, much letters anymore. You know, so the, the, the world is dynamically changing. And um, that's what happened with the martial arts. The practicality in it is lost. Um, but the spirituality is still there. But America doesn't appreciate that. And they don't promote that and um, they come in there and they promote everybody to be um, greedy for money and um, to strive towards being rich and to forget about the spirit you know and that's this this movie is just showing that transition and um, then you have someone like Tom Cruise who is a certain way at the beginning of the movie, but through these experiences living with the people of, in the East, he learns to appreciate their ways of living and ends up embracing it. So that he ends up becoming like a white person that ends up having the heart of the Eastern man. So basically, he ends up becoming like me. You know what I'm saying? Like an American on the outside, but inside, he is um, Eastern. So he's like inside East, outside West, and that's how I am. Outside West, inside East. You know, so his heart became, you know, and it started to embrace the teachings of the East. And that's how I am. You know, I embrace the teachings of the East. And then you see Tom Cruise in the movie, um, he ended up turning against his own people and from his from America from his own country and started to basically um, fight with the Japanese against the Americans is basically representing um, the East even though from the outside he was West so this is the same thing that happened in the movie Avatar you know when the main characters start to embrace, you know, this this new world and this new culture that he was immersed in. You know, and it's a common theme in so many different movies. Like even the movie like Pocahontas. It's kinda like the same same theme. You know, so when you embrace the teachings of the East you know, then you become balanced. But the West, America, um, they see the dangers in that and they don't want people to to be exposed to those teachings. They want the people to just continue to just um, oppress, you know, the people of the East, turn them into slaves, um, have them work in their factories while they make, um, products for America and basically continue to exploit the people of the East because basically what's going on is you know America knew that they couldn't you know they eventually realized that they couldn't use Africans as slaves you know there's just um, too much drama involved so they decided to to turn the people in the East into slaves you know ship you know basically um exploit the people of the East for profit you know let the people in the East work their lives away to death um, while America enjoys like their luxuries you know and we're all guilty of it because anybody that lives in America we're all spoiled and we're all just reaping the benefits of um, the torture that's going on in the East you know, these people that are working 16-hour days or 20-hour days, making, like, barely anything. And that's just all they do, making our products. 
and we're just exploiting the opportunity to to um, take advantage of very very cheap labor you know so this movie is just showing like how a person an American can essentially wake up open his eyes become conscious and um, realize and see um, you know, the faults of what he has done you know and then he could go on about like developing himself in a spiritual way in order to um, head towards the true way you know so I think this movie is a really good movie to to kinda that can essentially open people's eyes I do promote the movie it's a movie that has deep meaning and it's really a movie that's teaching the Eastern is teaching people to value the Eastern culture and that's a good thing you know so they need to make more movies like that I feel you know that are you know this was a Hollywood movie very popular in the theaters a lot of people know about it people watch it you know and it's really highlighting the beauties of of the East and I think essentially that's what Bruce Lee really wanted to share with the West and this movie is one of those movies that um, does a good job with sharing um, the deeper aspects and values of the East that really the, the West needs to learn from.